increased maternity benefit vis-a-vis -vis the EMLL. Ang covered po ng program na ito ay all female workers in the public sector, in the private sector, even those in the informal economy, as well as our voluntary contributors to the SSS and even female national athletes who have given birth either cesarean command or normal delivery, basta buhay ang bata inilabas sa sinapupunan or even those who unfortunately had miscarriage or emergency termination of pregnancy, including stillbirth. And we give this benefit regardless of civil status, married man or not ang ating female member to the child's father, regardless of employment status, JO, casual, regular, or rank and file, supervisory, managerial. So wala tayong differentiation doon, no? as long as you are our member and you have met our qualifying conditions. Regardless of legitimacy of the child, we won't go into those details. So what's important is that you are qualified for this benefit. And most importantly, participants, regardless of frequency of pregnancy. So mga participants natin ngayon dito sa webinar session, baka yung iba sa inyo ay naka-avail na ng SSS Maternity Benefit prior the implementation of EMLL, no? baka 2012, kaya years back. Kung maalala ninyo, meron tayo up to maximum of four number of pregnancies ang ating binibilang kasama dyan yung miscarriage. So, ah, pagkatapos ng apat, tapos na. Hindi ka na makakuha ng benefit. Naalala nyo yun. But, right now po, no, following the implementation of the expanded maternity leave law, RA 11-2-1-0, Regardless of frequency, ay pwede na po mag-avail ang benefit nito. Meaning to say, kahit every year, ay mga anak ang isang kababaihan. No? Not everybody, but a majority or there are some female members sa talagang childbearing sila. So at least you would know that you can depend on the SSS maternity benefit dahil ngayon po, regardless of frequency of pregnancy na ang ating usapin. Okay? So, what are the qualifying conditions? Actually, there are two. First one, contributions. The female member must have paid at least three monthly contributions in the 12-month period immediately preceding the semester of contingency. Second, the female member must have notified her employer of her pregnancy and the expected date of her childbirth. Okay? So, meaning to say, Kung kayo po ay employed member, sa mga participants natin na employed member, you have to notify your employer so that your employer will notify SSS. Question ma'am, kailan ko po ba inform ang aking employer? Once that you have confirmed that you are pregnant, once you have confirmed na nagdadalang tao ka, no? So do notify right away your employer so that your employer will notify SSS right away also. Hey ma'am, paano po? Ngayon po sa webinar na ito, ako ay nakikinig pero hindi po ako employed member. Ako po ay isang voluntary member ni SSS. Paano po ako mag-notify? <music> Oh, 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 oh,